guys welcome back to my channel and my messy desk um i just was making this a few minutes ago and figured why not bring you guys along and show you how i've done it it is a large journal card or tag and i have used a cd envelope to create this and i am using my um, new paper collection miller ray and I will link it below if you want to use the same kit. So let's just jump right in because I am about to have to leave because it is, I'm filming this on Saturday. You guys will probably see it on Monday. Um, but today is my baby boy's 12th birthday and it's his birthday party. So I've got to get going. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to trim this down just a little bit right here. Because I'm actually going to tuck this in. I don't need that. Um, I actually need to trim it just a little bit more right there in the center. I don't need that flap. And rather than just cutting it completely off, I'm just going to um, glue it down. And it'll give it a little bit of stability right there at the top. So I just want to make sure. And I don't know about you guys, but I have so many of these CD sleeves that... Um, I figured I needed to do something with them. I do use them a lot of times to store ephemera in. Um, if I have a lot of ephemera, like from my printables and stuff, I do use these to store that in. And then I use a CD case um, where I have the alphabetized little CD tab things. Um, and I still didn't get it all off, but we'll get it covered. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put a little um, page. I've got one of my hairs. My hair is falling out like crazy. I want to put something um, that you can see back there in the back. So when you take the tag out, you're not looking at that blank um, CD area, CD case area. So I'm just looking to see what I want to use. Um, and this kit is huge. It is 25 pages. So there are many different choices that you can choose from. I love this kit. This kit was so much fun to create. Um, I think I'm going to go with that. It's not real dark and it won't be too bold, I don't think. So let me grab my cutting board. I'm having major printer issues today, so, uh, so aggravating. So I'm just cutting that top off. And I know about what size it needs to be. You would need to measure your um, CD case just to make sure, you know, that you get the right size. Um, mine is just a little over four and three quarters. Uh, square. So that's what I'm cutting it at, and we'll see how that looks. And then we'll go from there. So let me just see how this looks, if it goes in good and has everything covered. Yes, that looks really good. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat, and I am just going to, like, pour some glue down in there because I really just don't feel like taking it back out and then trying to get it in. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that the top is good and glued down because that's what's going to be coming. You're going to be using it the most. And I'm taking my scraper and I'm just kind of like doing the glue down towards the bottom. And I have enough glue in there that I am not worried. I'm sure I got plenty of glue. Okay, so there we go. So now we have that done. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to cover it and I didn't worry about trying to keep that round area. Um, I, that doesn't bother me to keep it, you know, I don't have to keep it round like that. So I am going to just see what I want to cover. You know, since we use the script, why don't we use that 
to go around the um, edge. And so what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna tear towards me just to get a good tear there. And I'm gonna do it, same thing, I'm gonna tear, well, actually I wanna tear away from me on right here because I wanna use that piece and I wanna have some white, some white showing. And I like how that looks. So let me get my ink pad. Yeah, I'm having like major printer issues today. I don't know what the deal is with it. I have put new cartridges in. I have aligned the heads like three times. I have cleaned the heads. And then it's still not working right. And it was working fine until my ink cartridge, the one that was in there, kind of like run out. And it said that I needed to replace the cartridges. So I done that and whenever I did, yeah, that's when the problems began. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue on this. And you can use any kind of paper to do this with. You can use, um, if you have scrapbook paper that you need to use up, this is a good way to use up your, um, you know, your scraps just collage onto the top of like one of these um, cases like this CD covers and it makes a really cute um, pocket and you're using up junk at the same time okay so same thing here I'm gonna kind of tear away from me right here or towards me on this Lord I'm getting mixed up and then I don't really need a very big spot so I'm just going to tear some because that I'm going to put right there. And I am going to purposely have it come down over that um, the acetate window because I just kind of want it to be like a peekaboo almost. Okay, I like that. Let me glue that down. So I hope you guys are having a better day than I am having. <laughs> I mean, I'm not having a bad day. It's just, I don't have time for my printer to be messing up. It's like, I got stuff to do. Let me go ahead and put a piece down on the bottom as well. I'm right there. Um, and we can do that piece. I think that's cute. And you see, I, there's no measuring. It's just, throw it on there. Have fun doing it, but it's not complicated. Just throw it down on there and have fun. And that's all I'm doing. And then we will need one more piece to go on the side. Look how cute that is. I mean, it's just, I love it. Okay. So let me kind of get this a little straighter. And now, I don't really need a large piece here either. Now it's to figure out what piece I want to use and how much I want to cover the window. All right, let's ink this up. And again, you don't have to ink. You don't have to, you know, you can, you can just put scrap of paper down if you want to. You don't have to ink. You don't have to do any of it. Just however it makes you happy. That's what matters. And so, and I'm going completely over the um, envelope because that's fine because I will go back and trim everything once I have it all on there. And so that's all I'm doing right now is just kind of making sure I have everything like where I want it. 
and lined up there, and I like that. Okay, so while this is drying, and I mean, we are going to do some embellishments on the front of it as well, but let's go ahead and see what do we want to show. And I actually like this. So let me get rid of this white. the white on the bottom. Now for the size of my um, my CD case, the four and a half inches wide was a good width for me. So we're going to go with that again and I'm just leaving it at the height that it is. Now let's see how this is going to look. Make sure this is what we want and make sure it fits in good. So I'm just trying without just put it in there and just get an idea oh yeah look at that love it okay let me pull that out maybe what have I done hmm. I don't know okay so we need to back it with something because the, um, I did include backing papers in the kit um, I did not print these double-sided the ones that I'm using right this minute. Um, but there are backing papers in there. And I'm just trying to see, look at all this mess, guys. Oh my goodness. I think I wanna use a lighter one than what I have out for the, um, for the back of it. So let me just see what I have. Now I have some that are, I've done the coffee dye on. Ooh, what about that? Let's back it onto that. But do we want to back it onto, which side do we want showing? Do we want that showing or that showing? Let's do it where this is showing. Okay. Now. I probably will end up sewing around this at some point, but I am not going to sew around it today um, because of the time. So I'm just gonna glue it real good. Um, you know, and use whatever glue. And you know, if you print it on um, strong enough cardstock, you don't have to do this because like I said, I did include um, backing pages in the kit. Um, so you can just print it double-sided and then just use it as a tag, just like that. Um, but I did not print it on very strong paper. So I do need to have it backed. And so now I'm just going to attempt to cut around that. We will see how that works out. Because I am not a straight cutter. Mm -mm. Even with having a guide there to cut by, I still don't cut straight. But we're just going to do the best we can and not stress about it. Because we can make it look good no matter what we do. No matter how bad I cut it, we'll figure out how to make it look cute. Let me see. It looks like I got to trim that up some. And I thought I saw it up in here somewhere too, but oh well. Okay, I'm not even gonna attempt it because I'll be done messed up. So let me move that. It does look like I need to trim it right there. Okay. Now you can um, round your corners. You can do the like the tag. Um, you know the angle. Um, I do have a tag, um, what do you call it, punch thing. I have one right here. My good one that I like the most is actually, I think it's out at the other house. Um, so I will try to see how this one does. It, this one, I literally paid like three times more than what I paid for the one that I like the most. And the one that I really like, I do have it linked um, 
in the description box below. I have the Amazon link to it. Um, it was less than $10, I think, and it's wonderful. But this other one was over $30, and I don't like it. Not at all. Not happy with it. But right now, that's the only one I have here, so guess what? I'm going to have to be happy with it. Let me see if I can grab it. Not knocking everything down. Um, okay. So it does like designs or something. I don't know. And see, it's not very big. I'm not real fond of it. I mean, I guess it's okay. It just... It's not really what I want. And I think it does a little punch there. Okay, so we're going to go with it because that's what I have here right now. So I'm just doing that. All right, so let's set that to the side. Now let's attempt to trim this up. Make sure you don't cut your CD sleeve if you are doing it like I'm doing it. Um, and I'm saying that from experience because I have opened my CD sleeve up several times before. And I have no doubt that I will do it again. I'm just hoping I don't do it today. Which, you know, if you do, it's it can be fixed. Okay, look guys, how cute is this looking? All right, now let's go ahead and let's ink around the edges there. Just ink it up real good to get rid of that white from where I cut it. And you can also decorate the back, but I am probably going to glue mine in, so I don't need the back decorated. But before we embellish anything, let's see how that's going to look. Look at that. That will be beautiful in a journal, and then you can put your um, your ribbon. I thought I had ribbon here. Oh, goodness, I don't guess I do. But you can put your ribbon there, anything like that. Now, this is some of the stuff out of the kit, and I'm just looking to see. I have some stuff that I can fussy cut and like put on here. Let me see if I can do this halfway quick without making you guys suffer too much through watching me fussy cut. I should have had my um, scan and cut. Go ahead and cut these out when I had it out a while ago, but I wasn't thinking. Well, I actually, I did print a bunch of stuff for my scan and cut to do um, because, you know, I had just done a bunch of... Um, new like labels and stuff for um my shop and i needed to fussy cut them and get them in my ephemera albums and so that's what i was doing and i had printed like 25 pages of different stuff on cardstock and you know that stuff's not cheap and i go over and get it and it's printed awful and it's a brand new cartridge the black and the color cartridge are both brand new i had just put them in so I don't know what the deal is. I'm not sure. I I done everything that HP the you know the little app said that I needed to do. I lined the heads. I cleaned the heads. I done the second level cleaning on the heads. And it's still not working. Okay. So I can put that right there. I'm just going to put it down. Okay. How do I want it going? Guys, I can't tell which way it goes. I don't think that's the way it goes, but you know what? That's all the way it's going to be now. Because I done got it glued on. Alright, and let's see. Do we want to do one more maybe at the top? 
let's try this. Let me see how quickly I can get this fussy cut out and how long I make you guys suffer watching me do this. Yeah, because, like I said, I should have just, if I had thought about it, I would have put it on the scan and cut and had it do the work for me, but I wasn't thinking. I was just too aggravated at that point. And it's not, I don't mind fussy cutting the stuff. Um, some of it I'll just like cut off if it looks like it's not going to make a big difference. And I found that whenever I do the fussy cutting, rather than trying to move my scissors and do all that, I move my paper and I just keep my scissors in about the same spot and it makes it much easier. And I like that right there. So we'll glue that down. And this is something that you can do as a mass mate. Um, you can do, hopefully my thing is still recording because my phone just gave me a message saying that my battery was low, but hopefully I'm still recording. But yeah, you can do this as a mass make. Um, just have you several, you know, pockets out. And, um, because you don't have to do like all the decorating that I'm doing right now. You don't have to do all of that. You can just very simply um, just make them and get them ready to do a decorating. Um, I forget what labels these are, but these are some newer labels that are in my store. And let's just see. I don't know if the label will look good on it or not since I've got the two flowers. But we're going to just take a look. Maybe. Alright, so let me try and cut this really quick. Let's see if I can do it without. I need to put my glasses on. Then it might really would help. But, you know, that would make too much sense. And they're on top of my head. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm goofy like that. So, I could put it right there. Actually, I like it there. Okay. Let's go ahead and ink it up. And then glue it down. I have to make sure I had it the correct way up. I was for a second there. I was scared I had it wrong ways. Okay. So there's that. Now this kit, like I said, this kit is huge. It comes with so much stuff. Um, you know, and like we could, I don't know. Let's see. We might do something extra to that tag. Let me pull some of this stuff out of the way. I can't handle seeing all of this trash over here. It just gets to me. So let me chuck this. Okay. So now that we have this tag, we can leave the tag just like it is the great journaling spot or we could because this pocket come with the um with the kit we could make something like that i'm just trying to think what about if we've done a pocket like this let's do that real quick guys Let's just do it. So I'm just going to cut it. I can't see the notes to see which way is which. Okay. I'm going to cut 
there. I really wish I had my corner rounder. Hmm. Do I dare? Hey, that's not bad. That's not too bad. That'll do. And then this is that paper punch that don't half work, but we're going to try it. Ha, huh, thank you. It worked a little better today. But I don't want to cover up that part, so I'm actually going to put... Hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the pocket shorter because I do want it on the front, but I don't want to cover up that area. So I'm just going to cut it a little shorter. I like that. And I'm just going to ink it. And just sand about where I want it. Okay, I think that will work. So let me glue this down. And if I had done like the gussets or something, I would have been able to, you know, put something a little thicker in the pocket. But because it's going inside of that CD case or that CD sleeve, I really don't want anything too thick in there. And so now what we can do, these are some of the tags that are in the, um, I don't even think I have a hole punch here. I don't, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to pretend like this has the hole punched in it and that I've got it decorated because I don't even have it here with me to punch the hole in it. We're just gonna, we're pretending today. Not like y'all don't see that. Okay, and so I can stick this down in there. You know, I could put a couple of different cards or something down in there. And then when I stick it down, oh, I love that. Wow, okay, that worked out great. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. I have to get going. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that and, you know, want to make some of these for yourself. Um, if you do make some of them, I would love to see them. Um, go over to the Facebook group and post them and um, let us see them. Let us enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you did. Um, I do lots of giveaways. Um, I do lots of fun stuff, or I try to anyway. I think it's fun. I hope everybody else does. But um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.